What's good, YouTube? It's your boy King Supreme. Back on the visit, we got Jeff Foxworthy, kids versus old folks. Now, if y'all new here, welcome to the channel, homies. Appreciate y'all for tuning into the King Supreme gang. Back with another video, back with another reaction today. We got some more comedy on day, and we got that boy Jeff Foxworthy in a building, though. But I will say, this is gonna be my first time ever reacting to him, bro. I've not got to him yet. Y'all be putting me on to all this new, this new cool stuff, but y'all really be putting me on to the best stuff, the funniest stuff, the most entertaining stuff, and I really do appreciate that, bro. Y'all really do. So, saw this one in the comments, his name, and I was like, okay, we're gonna get to it. So, we got this one first Kids versus Old Folks with Jeff Foxworthy. Um, hope y'all enjoy this one. Please keep letting me know down below in the comments what videos I wanna see next, bro. Y'all already been putting me on to the most stuff, so I can't thank y'all enough, but if y'all want me to keep ragging, more cool stuff just put it down below in the comments y'all know it gets anything on this channel so i am down for whatever but y'all know what the deal is road to 100k so i'm gonna keep on flooding these bangers out for y'all i've been really being really consistent for y'all because i want to be sure to get these videos out because i appreciate y'all so much for all the support and all the love y'all have been giving me i really do appreciate it so i'm gonna make sure i give y'all i get y'all you know right with these videos you understand what i'm saying so make sure i like make sure i comment make sure i subscribe make sure i share do all that for me because it really helps your boy out and make sure i turn those post notifications on because these videos are gonna get cranked out you understand what I'm saying but yeah we went straight into this one. I don't want to talk y'all heads off too much. I'm very excited. I always love getting to a comedian or just any reaction for the first time because I'm always excited to see what the dude is about. And I know it's going to be good stuff because y'all recommended it. Y'all really be putting me on to the best stuff. So we're going to see how this one is. Let me stop talking your head off. Kids versus old folks with Jeff Fox ready. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. I was reading this thing the other day and it was talking about people being part of the Oreo generation. And, and what it was saying was people that waited until their mid 30s to have kids like my my wife and I, see, because my parents got married when they were like 20. I was born nine months to the day after my parents were married. <laughs> nine months to the day, that must have been a ceremony. I do. Could you turn around just one minute to a reverend? I do. <laughs> but it was saying people that waited until their mid 30s that said you're kind of an Oreo because you're raising your children and you're also raising your parents who, in their elderly age, are kind of reverting back to childhood. And I told my wife, I said, you know what this means? It means we've got two that are out of diapers and two that are going into them. <laughs> and as bad as it was with the little ones, I can't imagine it's going to be any more fun with the big ones. I just want to be sitting there watching football with my father-in-law going, Ed, don't you lie to me, Ed. kids and the seniors. I mean, they both have their own special menu at restaurants. You've got to worry about both of them with drugs because it's not just the teenagers. Seniors get a hold of some good stuff. The last time we were at my in-laws, I made the comment that my sinuses were kind of stopped up and my mother-in-law said, do you want to stop the sniffles or not feel your head? and pulls out this little bag, he looks like it's full of Skittles, <laughs> and grabs this tiny green pill, and she said, say hello to my little friend. She be on that shit. I took that pill. Yo, Granny be popping pills with it. Oh, she, she ain't lying, though. Them old folks be getting down with it. Uh, Granny popping pills. Y'all the purr. What the fuck? Say hello to my little, little friend. friend. <laughs> what the fuck, bro? I like this dude, but he's funny as hell. I took that pill, I woke up two days later laying in the backyard talking to Elvis. <laughs> She's at the door going, get up, you baby. I take four of those and go to the grocery store. <laughs> he is funny as shit, bro. You know, and the kids don't listen to you and the seniors can't hear you. <laughs> My mother-in-law has a hearing aid that she only wears about half the time, and you can always tell when she's not wearing it because she talks louder than any human being on the planet. Four or five months ago, we're in line at the movie theater one night, and they're with us, and she says to me, Don't look now, but the man behind us is cross-eyed as a bat. <laughs> embarrassed to death and two when somebody says something like that you gotta look <laughs> you really got to, bro. Damn, bro. Bro, 
I have y'all really be putting me on to the coolest stuff, bro. How have I not heard of this dude before, bro? Why does he look familiar? Am I tripping? He looks familiar to me. Maybe I'm just thinking of somebody else, but for some reason, I don't know, y'all. He looks familiar to me. I don't know. His just face with the mustache. I feel like I've seen him before. Not in comp, this something else. I don't know. Let me know if I'm tripping about that. But anyways. Bro, y'all really, there's so much, so, there's so much stuff we gotta get to, that's why I'm so excited about this journey on my channel, bro, like, we, bro, we've gotten to, you know, I've done a lot of reactions on this channel, bro, but we are literally just at the beginning, because there's so much stuff to get to, and y'all really be putting me on to more and more stuff every day, dog, it just, it's like, it's, a, it's we have, like, an unlimited amount of stuff to get to, bro, I'm so excited for this journey, bro, but, Fox Radio, though, I'm gonna get, we already, like, we halfway through this, Hey, I'm fucking with him, dog. You feel me? First time reacting to him, I'm fucking with dude, bro. He he he, he funny, bro. He funny, bro. I ain't gonna count. Perish to death. <laughs> and two, when somebody says something like that, you gotta look. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. He is not wrong. <laughs> I turn around and this guy is glaring at me. <laughs> Well, he may not have been glaring at me, but he was glaring at somebody. This guy. He said he may not have been glaring at me, but he was glaring at somebody. You know, and the kids wear their pants falling off their butts, and the seniors wear them up to their armpit. <laughs> My father-in-law got his chest hair caught in his zipper. <laughs> me scared is I know I'm next in line and let me tell you I can tell I'm getting older a lot of ways I can tell one about a year ago somebody broke into my truck and I keep a case in there with like 24 CDs in it they stole three of them <laughs> well, thank God the Ann Murray's still here where's the best of bread where's the best of bread Oh, Two, I have finally broke down and got a recliner. I used to always make fun of my dad and his recliner. I have a recliner now, and I love it. I used to travel the world at a moment's notice. I get in that recliner, I'm not getting out of that thing. I just oh wait. Oh, God, bro. Um, recliners be comfortable as shit, bro. We ain't going to cut with the little, the ones where you got, you know what I'm saying? You got the little, the action where, it, you know, you hit the thing on the side and the, the chair, it go up so you can just lay down on it. I love recliners, bro. Them bitches be comfortable than a motherfucker, bro. I got me a recliner, dog. Yeah, I like me a recliners, man. What the fuck? That ain't no old school shit, man. I love me a recliner, bro. I got one myself. Them comfortable than a bitch. I got a recliner. I used to always what make fun fuck? of my dad and his recliner. I have a recliner now. I like and recliners. I love it. Yeah. I used to travel the world at a moment's notice. I get in that recliner, I'm not getting out of that really? thing. Oh, I just wait on people to walk through the house. Hey! Do me a favor and make me a sandwich. <laughs> Is the house on fire? <laughs> hey, if you see flames, there's an extinguisher under the sink in the kitchen there. Yeah, bro, you do not want to get up, bro. But like... the worst one, a couple of weeks ago, my wife and a few of her friends were, were making jokes and giggling about this product called Astroglide. Uh, it's, it's this, it's apparently... It, it is this lubricant uh, that they sell in the drugstore right next to the condominiums. And... Uh, <laughs> But it's supposed to be really good stuff. I mean, apparently you're able to put it on a Cadillac and get it in a doghouse. <laughs> but as they're talking about it, I swear to you, my first thought was, I bet I can put that on the poles the bird feeders are on and keep the squirrels off of it. <laughs> the squirrels are driving me crazy. If you come by my house at 5 o'clock in the morning, you will see me on the back porch in my underwear with night vision goggles holding a BB gun waiting on the squirrel. <laughs> Just embarrasses my kids to death. Which is the way I believe life is supposed to work. The parents are supposed to embarrass the kids and the kids are supposed to embarrass the parents. Dog, that was gold, bruh. For a first time reaction, yeah, I gotta give it to him. Jeff Fox already, he cool. He cool with me, bruh. He cool in the hood, bruh. I ain't gonna lie to you. He cool with me, bruh. Y'all can know. I don't know. Let me know how y'all feel about Jeff Fox already. Feel me? Y'all put me on to him type shit. Let me know if y'all if y'all have watched him before. If he's 
um, some of y'all have gotten to because I don't know, I'm really messing with them. Dude, he's funny as hell. You feel me? I like his, I like his stage approach. I like it for the first time reacting to him, bro. And I give it, I give it a thumbs up type shit. That's some funny ass shit, dog. Real shit though, y'all know I don't cap with these reactions. Um, so please let me know down below if y'all want me to get to any more of him type shit. And if y'all do want me to, let me know which videos I should get to next from him. So I can go whatever and then we can just start going on a, a binge sesh with him. But um, yeah, I'll for sure get some more of him. But that was funny as hell. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all share. You know we're on the road to 100k. So I gotta keep on posting these bangers for y'all. And make sure y'all turn those post notifications because it really helps your boy out. But uh, more videos are coming very soon bro y'all really be putting me on to the best stuff and i really do appreciate that thank y'all for the love thank y'all for the support it means the most to me and yeah i'm gonna catch y'all next time i appreciate y'all for the love man this is a funny ass video hope y'all enjoyed it it's your boy king supreme we out of this bitch